For today's video, folks, a double burger with cheese. I'll tell you all about it coming right up. Okay, folks, I've got my motor running. I'm, he I'm not heading out on the highway, though. It's a rural route road, and there's work being done on the roads here, so it's going fairly slow, and I'm getting anxious. Why am I anxious? It's because I'm getting one of these bad boys right here. Yes, that is a Papa Burger from a w Two beefy patties of grass-fed beef deliciousness. But we're going to find out exactly how it tastes coming right up. Let's continue this ride. Afternoon, may I help you? Hi, can I get a Papa Burger? Does that come with cheese? Yeah, the cheese is extra. Okay, I'll get a Papa Burger with cheese, please. Okay, is that everything? And that's it. 10.45, come on up, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, a Papa Burger with cheese. Should be good. So here's what we're dealing with, folks. Look at that burger. A double patty. Cheese is extra. So the thing I like about A&W is they use cheddar cheese. So this is supposed to have cheese. It, uh, that white sauce, I believe, is mayonnaise. And on the bottom is teen sauce. Oh, it's ringed onions. I prefer when the onions are chopped up. And we have some pickles on there. Oh, my goodness. That looks good. And the bun, nice pillowy soft bun. Sesame seed, to be exact. But the key is, how does it taste? I think I'm going to take that bite right there with that little pickle. I like pickles now. Who would have thunk? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday to me. Here we go. It's been a while since I had a burger. I'm going in. Okay, folks, here's here's the burger. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It smells as it should, like beefy goodness. Beefy, tender, juicy goodness, and I'm going to eat it. I'm going in. I've got the pickle bite queued up. A month ago or two months ago, you'd never see me having any of these things. I used to call them nasty. Now they're not. They're tasty. Kind of rhymes with nasty, but let's see how it tastes. Delicious. Mmm. Got a pickle bite. Mm -hmm. There's something about an AW burger. It's the grass fed. You've heard me talk about this before. And there is a difference. I did an experiment. My daughter has a farm. I think I talked about this in another video where they raise cattle and they um, it's all grass fed. And I did an experiment where I went to the store. I bought a pound of ground beef. Uh, then I used a pound of her ground beef that was frozen. So it was already at a disadvantage. I'll put the link in the video below because it, it's pretty interesting. I did it scientifically. Cooked them both the exact same way. And it was just the beef. And the difference was incredible. Like you wouldn't believe it. A&W grass-fed beef are good burgers. <laughs> they are delicious. And I'm going to go through the entire menu. So I've already done the grandpa burger, with, which was three patties. Um, I did the matzo, matzo burger. Um, uh, we've got some more choices there at A&W. I might even do, let me know if you'd be interested in that. Because I'm not sure about the U.S., but in Canada, they also have a Beyond Meat. So it would be interesting to get a Beyond Meat burger. Um, so for example, get an uncle burger, um, regular burger, and then get an uncle burger with beyond meat in it and taste, taste them, uh, both do a taste test to find out what the difference is between the two. If you're interested in that, let me know and I can do that in an upcoming video. 
but look, the beef, the cheddar, the sauce, the teen sauce, the pickles, the onions. This is a delicious burger, grass-fed, melt-in-your-mouth beef. And, and that's one of the things with grass-fed beef. It's, it's the texture is different, too. It's not just the flavor. It's not as tough. I know that sounds weird because it's ground beef, but the difference is remarkable. That takes us to the end of the video, folks. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch us, uh, watch me experience this. If you're new here, um, there should be some playlists popping up there in a minute. And I'd encourage you to have a look. And if it's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along for the ride. I'm going to go finish this off. Two thumbs up for the grass-fed Papa Burger. But don't forget to ask for cheese when you order it. Jamie? Signing off. Delicious.